time you're watching this video, by the time it's uploaded, I'm probably in India and this is going to be the last video I recorded in France. A friend of mine wrote to me and asked me to do a video about the differences between USB Type-C and the Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now, this guy is on the very top of his tech game. He works in a Silicon Valley company and he knows his tech already. So when he said that it's confusing, I was like, maybe I need some time to research first and then make a video about this. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. We are talking today about USB-C Type-C versus Thunderbolt 3. If you don't have a computer which has USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 and you think, why do I care? Actually, you should kind of would need to care because once you see that these exceptions exist before you make another purchase at Chroma or I don't know Amazon before you make that purchase you know what questions to ask because a seller will tell you all the awesome parts he'll never tell you the shitty parts once you know the shitty parts you can ask him educated questions and now you buy the product that you actually need you don't end up buying something that won't work at home and now the seller won't take it back and all of that crap before we go any further if you don't understand the difference between usb type a type b type c um, relative to usb gen 1 gen 2 and gen 3 then you should check out this video that i made i'll link it up over here this explains the difference between the two a quick quick recap is a b and c these types they are actually about the shape and Gen 1 and 2, these generations, they're actually about the speed. Enter the party, Mr. Thunderbolt. He looks like this. Looks awesome, right? Better than the USB thingy. He was made by Intel and I think Apple has a partnership slash purchased them, some kind of relationship. Since 2011, Apple computers have a Thunderbolt port. See that little logo there? When Thunderbolt 3, Type 3 came out, what they did was really smart. It's like checkmate on the grand scheme of tech chess. But this move is completely non-Apple. What I mean by that is, if you notice Apple cables, they are never like everyone else. Everyone's using USB, micro, mini USB, and these guys have their own iPhone 5 cable. The Thunderbolt 3 cable looks exactly like USB Type-C. And it also fits in like USB Type-C. It's the same physical shape. So what's awesome about the Thunderbolt 3, apart from the fact that it goes into USB-C, is it uses th it also works with Thunderbolt 2. And the pros about Thunderbolt 2 fits in for Thunderbolt 3. The pros are you can use it for a display port. It's way faster. It sends in a lot of energy, which means that you can also charge your computer faster. And, and... It has USB 3.1 in it, but since they are who they are, USB 3 does not work on Thunderbolt. Here's where it gets really sketchy, okay? Now, Thunderbolt is always more expensive than USB. Why? Because Apple. Also, they are faster, I agree. So I was just editing the video and I realized I missed out on something. If you see a Thunderbolt logo next to the port, that means it'll accept everyone in. Thunderbolt 2, Thunderbolt 1, or even Thunderbolt 3, of course, because it's a Thunderbolt 3 port. It'll also accept USB, HDMI, and DisplayPort. With a converter, of course, but it'll do the trick. On the flip side, if you have a USB logo, that means it'll accept everyone, that's HDMI, DisplayPort, and so on, minus Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's all I had to say. So here's how it spans out, okay? If you look at the USB, you always know it's a USB, right? So for USB-C, hang on, I have a USB-C in my bag. I got Kothmir to make chicken, chicken curry today. There are two types of people in the world. People who have had chicken curry and people who don't like chicken curry. I've had chicken curry. Now this is USB Type-C generation 3.1. That's exactly what it looks like. First of all, you see it can be reversible, right? It looks the same upside or downside. That's the awesome part. That's a USB thing, okay? That relative to the old USB, which looked like this, you can see the difference straight out of the box, right? That's a USB type A. If you look at a cable that looks like this, you're not gonna know, I'm telling you this is USB-C, but you're not gonna know if it's USB-C or if it's Thunderbolt. So to sum up this video, if you look at a cable that looks like USB-C, probably it's USB-C, probably it's Thunderbolt, you don't know. That's where we are. It's a cold day and we're all gonna die. No, I mean, no kidding. I hope you guys have a nice day. 
take care of yourselves and i'll see you guys next week the next video is going to be from india i hope that answered your question nirav keep learning